So today, what I'm up to is I'm going to convert the R12 system to the R134. Well, the one that came stock with these cars, on, which is 94 and 95. Or I think it's 1st of January, 94. That came with stock R134A. Now this is a 89, so it came stock with R12. Okay, so, I mean, it cools. It cools okay. I mean, it cools okay. It's not cool, like, good. But it cools okay. So I want to convert it to the R134A fully. Like, get the whole system done. So this is what I found out. Um, so the condenser is has a different part number for the condenser. Different part number for, for 95, for R134A that came stock with this one. It came stock... Um, so different part numbers for this, for the condenser, different part number for the dryer, and different part number for the piping, different part number for the evaporator core, and different part number for the expansion valve. So it is different. It is a different system. It's not, it doesn't look the same. I mean, it's the same. It looks the same, but it's not, you know, it doesn't, it's not the same fittings. All right, so for here, I got the... I got the what's this called? A uh, the box. This box is called uh, the evaporator core. That's what it's called. So this, the one on the left, is for R12. The one on the right is for R134A. And this came stock on the 1985 or 94 Toyota pickups. Now the one on the foreigner is gonna be a little different. The box, so it's not gonna be the same thing. However, the suction line is going to be the same part number as for the pickup, for the V6, as long as for the V6. Okay, so here's the suction line for the R134A that came stock on a 95 Toyota pickup. Now, as you can see here, it's different, way different. The fittings are, it's a, it's a much, much bigger uh, line. As you can see, none of them fit. And this one fits right on there. I just have it covered. Like this, look at this. It doesn't even fit on the, well, it kind of fits, you know, but. But yeah, so you can see here it fits on there. See? And this one, it doesn't even go in. So if you want to convert it, you have to get you have to get the line, the suction line from R134A, the high pressure line from the R134A as well, and the other high pressure line as well that goes to the the dryer. And that's if you want to fully convert it into one R134A. No half uh, half fast job like I did, you know. So this is R12 and R134A. So yeah, there are different, and ex as well as the expansion valve is different size. The fittings, it's bigger, much bigger diameter. As you can see here, uh, this one is. Look at the size difference on the on the expansion valves. See the fittings? Like I don't know if you can see the difference. But well, there's a big difference in size, and those millimeters are enough to make a difference in performance in the air conditioning. And as well, look at the high pressure side. Uh, which one's the line that goes into the high pressure? Which would be this one right here. Okay, look at the size. Look at the size difference on it. Way bigger. It doesn't even go in. And on this one, this is the, the one that came stock on it, R134A. And it goes right in, right in the hole. And this is the part number for it. If you want to order it online or whatever, uh, which is basically almost impossible to find these things for trucks on which are using R134A or usually R12 because it only came out 
almost a year and a half. It only came out for a year and a half. Where's the part number for this thing? Okay. August 1st, 1994. So yeah. Uh, okay, so I got the condenser for the R134A. I'll put the I'll put all the part numbers and list all the parts on on the YouTube channel. So basically you need the suction line from a forerunner or pickup, which comes stock with a R134A. The high pressure line you need it from a pickup. You can't have it from a forerunner. Because the forerunners have a different different style condenser on it. And so the high pressure line you need it from the pickup. It goes all the way here, here, and that. And then you need also that little fitting here too. So yeah, see how it comes out. I gotta go take out the the box inside, and I'll be right back. Quick uh, update. Uh, so just so you can see, guys. How different the R12 and R31 R134A fittings are. Look at the size difference on this. This is the stock one that came with my truck, the R12. And look at the size differences this has. This one's R134A, the shiny one. This is R12. Look at the size difference. So that's why we're not getting performance on our cooling system because we're not using the proper. Uh, you know proper stuff for this so look at the site look at the difference on the condenser as well way different bigger bigger is better for cooling so yeah even the side this side here it's different everything's different the R12 system everything's different on the size is millimeters but those millimeters are enough to make a difference on the performance and the cooling. So yeah, I'll be right back and click update how it goes.